Right here we are guys. I'm going to jump in here and take our first look at the expert division. That's probably the wrong bag to use, but I guess I'll just go go with it for now. I typically uh, use the earlier clubs first. I guess I'm going to do the advanced bag this time. I'll typically do the reverse order. That gets me a little bit more dialed in for the second playthrough for when you see these larger clubs. I usually be a little bit more dialed, but we can do it in reverse. Um, you know, you'll just have to, you know, if I am making, you know, some mistakes, you'll have to just, uh, you know, make the necessary revisions. Uh, this is going to be an interesting wind. Um, it's really going to bring this bunker into play. You almost have to land on this left-hand side. I'm thinking of maybe bringing out a Titan. You see my opponent here does also, oh, you know, I may actually not. You can see it. It's almost like uh, you can actually land too far now with the, whatever the changes are that they're doing. It seems like uh, something is different. You can see opponent only using a navigator and still able to get that well up there. But uh, you do see that they land very much on the left-hand side, and that's what it's going to take is you're going to have to land very left there. So we are going to just try to play this just a little bit more controlled. Uh, what I'll typically do is four or five on the top spin. And we are going to try to land somewhere up in here. So I am going to come off the power a little bit. I'm thinking somewhere around here into the dark orange color. Somewhere right in here. And a little bit early on that timing. Let's see how this works. See if I can miss this. Looks like I still missed the sand anyway. So all good to go. Oh, just a little too much on the top spin. So that was five bars. I do like to get it down on this bottom. It does make this pitch much easier if you don't keep it, um, you know, on the short side, kind of like where my opponent is. If you can get it somewhere at least halfway down this hill, that's what you ideally want to do. And you can see that I use just a little bit too much on the top spin. So you can back off there. You'll see this is almost a hole for everybody. They really made this a very fair type setup. You can even see my opponent using a navigator. So balls of all choice. You know, I'm using almost overkill with a uh, kingmaker. But it's just my ball of choice. It's, uh, you know, free to play ball. It's something that everybody has and can earn from the tournament. So since I'm playing for them to win them, I don't mind using them. But you'll see what my opponent did, tried to utilize the slope. Not something that I recommend, as you can see. It does, it's, it's um, you know, something that you can't guarantee it's going to roll down like that. So may not be the best choice uh, for that roll rollout. It, it may just be just a little bit smarter to try to take out some of that break because it typically won't roll out exactly how you expect it to when you try to utilize that hill. Now, what I'm gonna do here is essentially stay inside cup and just go for perfect ball. If you get your perfect ball, you know, it should be, you know, essentially a guaranteed eagle even from the rough. So the mistake won't end up costing you. If you can get that perfect, good luck there guys and take care. I'll see you guys on the next one.